What's good? What's good, y'all? Welcome back to episode 53. You guys, Myra is not back yet. Am I too loud? No. Okay. I'm good. Myra isn't back yet, you guys. Uh, she's still taking a break. And you know what? We actually just came back from a crazy ass trip, y'all. And I was like, why don't we just talk about the trip? I have Luis and Raul here. What's up, y'all? What's good, y'all? And we were going to have Marisol on here too, you guys, because she also went on this trip, but she actually worked today. So it's just the three of us. Y'all, we had the funnest trip, like dead ass. I think this is like the funnest trip I've ever been to in my life. It was a blast. Yeah, we're like, still hungover. Ever. And tell me why <laughs> Luis is like still drinking. Like, bitch, <laughs> right? girl, like I've, I still have diarrhea from this weekend. Same. <laughs> but you're still drinking. Like, why? You guys, it was it was so fun. I want to talk about first, like how, well, we went for Pero Noche's wedding, Adriana and Jorge. And it was just magical. Like, there's so much to talk about because this was literally a three day wedding, you guys. It was iconic. Yeah, like, was. that's crazy. How did you meet them, Luis? Do you remember how you met them? The first time I met them was at Victor's birthday. Oh, you met them before I did. No, yeah. wait. Did I meet them at? I met them. I think I met them at the Muriel Twins at the 2000s party. I see them all the time, but since I'm always working, I like, yeah, I would see them, yeah. I feel like a lot of people were saying that, like a lot of people in my stories, but even like the people on the trip, they were saying that they're so used to seeing Luis just working and putting events together. They never get to see him like turning up. And I think everybody was actually, shocked to see Luis. Now that we're talking about it, I remember exactly how I met actually Jorge uh -huh. before Adriana. The day of Victor's birthday, Jorge got really fucked up. Period. And um, he locked himself in the restroom. No. No and way. And he couldn't get out. So I was like, I was stressing, like, dude, this guy's in the restroom. Like, we were we were able to open. This was at um, Laura's Boutique's warehouse. Oh. In the okay. restroom. So it was like those, it, we, we were just having a hard time opening the restroom, but we got uh -huh. him out. Oh, my and God. And since then, it just became like an inside joke. Oh, like, okay. Like, every time he will see me at a party, he'll tell me, like, oh, hopefully, you know. That's Hopefully so I'm locked in the restroom again. Yeah. No, that is but. so funny. This is the thing. I watched like all of them for forever. So I feel like I already knew them, but I feel like I got to know everybody like a lot more on this trip. And of course we see each other at events and stuff, but y'all, this trip was just I met insane. All that all that um all that crew. I met them at Victor's party. Oh, okay. That was the first time I met all of them. Yeah, they're definitely all a vibe. Super cool. Super cool. They're Very all cool. so so fun. So we left to Mexico. Well, there were okay, so Girl, it's crazy because they had the three-day thing. It was like the pre-boda, the boda, and the torna boda. Mm -hmm. And I remember when we saw like, you know, um, the whole itinerary, I was like, three days? Like, holy crap, that's crazy. You know, I'm like, are we going to be able to hang for three days? You guys, we literally blacked out every single day. And I don't know how we did it because every, every day was like, we were so hungover. But it's because... Dude, the ambiente was just there. It was. Like, definitely. you could just not, not black out. I it was like incredible. everybody was down to drink, too. So everybody was in the same vibe. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 So we got there on, when did we get there? Um, Thursday. Thursday. Right? Yeah. Thursday, Thursday, like at 1 p.m. We got, yeah, we get there Thursday. We didn't sleep. You know how it is, y'all. Well, we, we like to fly out of um, Tijuana just because, like, you know, it's cheaper than flying out of here. And then also, like, we only live, like, uh, like an hour and a half from CBX. So we drove there and then we crossed and then, you know, from Me there. Me and Maddie drove all the way into TJ. Oh, yeah. Oh, y'all drove yeah. into TJ because Marisol's airport. Air oh, passport. Her, her passport's expired since yeah. like fucking 10 years ago. Like, what is the reason? <laughs> and y'all never learned because getting back in that line, bitch. Lord, I feel like we got to Mexico at least like five times. Girl, at like least. for real. <laughs> But uh, no, I like going through CBX because I don't like going back in through the line because that line, if you guys. I was so need, mad. No, dead ass on the way back. <laughs> just to get to the fucking line it was a bitch yeah and then when <laughs> when we get there like you know how there's like a bridge to yeah 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 pasar san isidro yeah yeah and then the guy's like no caballero empieza ya even more back OMG. yeah like fucking two three blocks away from the bridge Fuck. omg i was like it's gonna be at least fucking 10 hours dude i know and it was only like four I oh, mean, okay, even four cool. hours, dude. Like that's, that's why I don't. I hate crossing through. I'd rather just go people through CBX. In my, in my demons, DMs and your like, demons. No. <laughs> <laughs> people in my DMs, they were like, like having heard of CBX. I'm like, yes, bitch. I fucking know what it is. You're like, just, uh, our passports are expired. Know, just, isn't man. yours expired too, bitch? Like, no, like, no, mine. Oh, okay, oh, okay. Oh, okay. No, I can't do that shit. Even then, like, 
CBX is I, even CBX I think is a little annoying yeah. the process and I was like down to fly out of here but then we got the tickets sold last minute y'all like literally the day no. before and then <laughs> we were so stressed out because we bought the tickets the night before and we're like fuck they're so expensive I know so somehow we ended up fucking finding Ro found some affordable tickets yeah but it was pointless because we still fucking missed our flight and we paid a thousand dollars more to buy new fucking tickets. <laughs> I know. That was on the way back, you guys. So let's talk about how we got there. Because, girl, we, I mean, I'm telling you guys, we were so, it was just such a crazy it was weekend. Cra- it, was it was worth crazy. it, though. It was it worth was it. So I don't worth it. I didn't mind. Yeah. So we get there on Thursday. That we, yeah, we didn't sleep at all, you guys. Like, I don't know about y'all, but like me, if I'm taking a, like a very early flight in the morning, I'm not sleeping. So we like, left the house like at two in the morning. Yeah, and then we knowing the us. House, we never do laundry the day before, nothing. nothing. So we're always doing everything the day. So of. we're doing laundry like literally hours before, like as we're packing, we're doing laundry. <laughs> and then we leave the house like at 2 a.m. Like, like apenas. So I'm like, apenas. oh my God, I just packed my shit. Let's go. I was like worried I was going to forget something. So then, you know, it takes like an hour and a half or so. And then to get through CBX is like another hour. You know, our flight was like at five in the morning. Yeah, it was like around 5.45. Yeah. I don't know. The point is we didn't sleep shit like at all, you guys. And then we land in Guadalajara. Uh, at like and then we find glam tender at the airport oh my god and then we find glam tender at the airport so we're like all right let's go so we go to rent a car and it was like it was first well we wanted to get a big ass car but it was fucking expensive i know yeah. super expensive they're asking like for thousands of dollars for like a deposit and we're like fuck we're like, no they're gonna what? find they're gonna find any fucking um like excuses. excuse to keep yeah. that deposit but we ended up finding a cheaper alternative but, but we were crowded. It was like five, no, six fat bitches in a little ass car. Yeah, you guys. And it's so funny With because. With fucking like six maletas. We had like a crap ton of maletas. Like Glam Tender herself had like three maletas herself. Mm-hmm. And then I had, like we had we a shitload, home. you guys. Yeah. So we had to put seats down in the back. And we're, we're like all thickies in there like amontonados. Like, and we were literally making fun of ourselves, guys, because we're like me, Luis, and Glam Tender all have the sleeve. Like, in total, we've lost, like, nearly 300 pounds together. And it's just hilarious. Dude, that car was fucking struggling. Like, we going were, up the hills, it was like... <laughs> I was like, bitch, imagine if we didn't have the sleeve. Like, how the <laughs> fuck were we going to fit in that car, girl? Like, you guys, it was... It was hilarious and then Luis you know like in Mexico like roads you can't see the speed bumps oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god yeah Luis I we like he almost the whole trip. I mean it was Mexico we were drinking and then at way. one point Luis was like laughing at it so he would like go fast on the speed bumps I'm like Luis <laughs> we're about to fly out these fucking windows dude Mexico's crazy you know how it is out there yeah people are like are sitting at the back of the mm-hmm. trucks and shit nobody gives truck. a fuck out there no like <laughs> oh my gosh y'all it was just crazy but um so we get there and then we get there like just in time to start getting ready for the pre war that right or no we ate we, we ate some food we got stuff. some tacos before we got to the yeah to the, room. the point is by the time we get to our room we have we just very, had enough time to get ready yeah. yeah like we literally got there took a shower got ready for the pre war and headed out no sleep zero like we slept maybe on the but flight i feel like we were super excited we didn't care we didn't care yeah, yeah we were ready we're so like so let's you travel, go like you're excited like like you know sleep goes out the it window. was the first day yeah, yeah. And we were in tequila guys like we're so excited you know it was so beautiful too yeah and super nice the pre boda itself was like a whole other wedding it was yeah. gorgeous it was like an all-white party which is hilarious because <laughs> oh my gosh guys i literally was freaking out at the littlest stains on my jumpsuit because i was wearing a wh- our white first jumpsuit. drinks remember oh, it was like yeah. kind of windy yes it was so windy like the moment i get there i'm talking like 10 minutes in we're at the bar and i order a cantarito and then it had like spuma from the it sport. had spuma yeah and yeah, yeah. it was so windy that like it just i had it it, it, spl- it splashed all over me so then i'm freaking out i'm like i literally just got here it's an all white party and i and you could see like red all over me so then raul he actually thought ahead of time and he brought like a tide pen like one of those like stain pens I can't prepare, so there i am like all like trying to get it off <laughs> yeah girl <laughs> hours later my whole jumpsuit was black like it was crazy, but it's just funny because I was like tripping over those little tiny stains. At the end of the night, I was like revolcada as fuck, like rolling in the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like literally, y'all. But that was fun was too. Fun. That day, everyone got drunk too. It was that so day, fun. that's when I realized like, fuck, if this is the first day, like what's going to be the wedding day? The next Guys, day? the pre the pre boda alone, like that was a, a whole wedding within itself. The entrance that Jorge did with, with the, the horses. Caballo beautiful i was like wow it was like out of a novela gaviota could fucking never it, gaviota the house dude <laughs> i feel like jorge and adriana are just like literally like 
the novela couple in real life. Yeah. Like, it's actually crazy. They're was so it, beautiful. Wasn't the actual character from the novela Gaviota, his name was Jorge, no? Was it? Girl, let, I don't know. Gaviota. I don't remember. But it was just a dream. And we, and we were just like, damn, this is a pre that And like people were getting lit, girl. Because I remember I thought I was like, okay, this is a pre that I was like, maybe we're not going to go all out because like tomorrow's the wedding. We don't want to go too crazy. No, girl, we went all out. Everybody. Like everybody. After the the event ended at the pre that because it didn't end too late. I believe it ended like at 10 or so because like, you know, the mm-hmm. next day was a wedding. We really wanted to go to Cantaritos Duero, which is funny, guys, because Cantaritos Duero was already on the itinerary for the day for after the boda. But we were getting, we had major FOMO because the night before, the night before we got there, Lily had gotten there. Um, uh, Yasmin. Yasmin, Beauty Bird had gotten there. Um, Yadira and all of them and they had all gone to Cantaritos del Huero the night before and I remember seeing their stories and they had gotten like super lit and I was like oh my god I had like major fun I was like I really really want to go we were just excited to go to Cantaritos we were just so excited to be in tequila in general and go to go to Cantaritos del Huero and Brittany had also gotten there the day we got there too she also like kind of slept she got there like literally like I think two hours after us and me and her were like should we just go we were like let's go fuck it so we just all get up after the party and we go to Cantaritos del Huero and it was just oh my god guys the drinks like this is your sign to go y'all cantaritos el Huero in tequila jalisco there's a bunch of like cantaritos places huh yeah there is but yeah. cantaritos el Huero is like it number is. one and they make these drinks and They're huge they add like literally like four bottles in one it depends the size you buy it depends yeah. on the size but, but even the smallest one is still pretty big yeah but you guys it's like the hype is real they it don't is. taste like anything like they it, don't taste so they don't like, taste bad they're, they don't taste like tequila, but yeah. yeah that's what you're creeper. trying to say. You know what it is? Yeah. I think it's like maybe like the fruit. It's just good. It's the, it's the toronja with Le the pone squirt. Todo, huh? yeah. yeah. Like it doesn't taste. You don't you, taste the like tequila. That's why you get drunk so fast. You're seeing them pour like hella bottles in there and you're like, that has to be super strong. I no. mean, you taste the tequila, but you know what I mean? Like, no, but like you, yeah. you don't have it's a hard good. time drinking it. Yeah, it's no. not it's hard not, at all. Yeah. so good. Like with all the alcohol, you would think that it would taste disgusting, but it tastes delicious. So good. So um, we get there, we order two of the things, and we get shit faced. Finish them, oh. and yeah, we finish. We finish them. Lord I have mercy. We, we did, I don't yeah. fucking know. And then we got hot dogs, we got and hot chips, dogs. The I didn't eat any fucking food that night. Like I was just. <laughs> Maybe that's why you ended up on the floor. <laughs> yeah, a lot of you guys were asking me because I posted I posted my uh, my jumpsuit how it was literally like filthy. And what happened was at Cantaritos del Huero, we were dancing and I didn't realize I ate shit. But apparently, I do remember eating shit in the parking lot. Yeah, in the parking lot, I felt the parking lot too, but I can't yeah. remember. I I I know I felt because I you literally did. like I, my forehead even it's still sore like till like till this day. This because it's such a fucking vibe. It's crazy because I feel like the whole trip. Like, and everyone's like in a good mood. Like everybody, everyone, everybody, mm-hmm. like the super ambiente nice. is crazy. Like everyone super, is super there nice. to turn up, you guys. So just being there, yeah. the vibes, everything. You're just like, let's go. Like you're so everyone's excited. dirty. Everybody is full of dirt. Yeah, everybody's nobody just cares. drinking. Nobody gives a fuck. No. No. Yeah, like it's just a vibe. The y'all. music's playing. So everything. that night, I wish I got more videos on that night, y'all. If any of my friends that were there, if y'all got any videos or pictures of that night at that first night at Cantaritos del Huero, please send them over to me. I don't think me. we took any. Any. I no didn't because I remember I was like, it's it's the pre-war that we're not gonna get that crazy. I really thought, and before I knew it, I was on the fucking floor <laughs> rolling around like a pig in mud, bitch. I had hey, some hot dogs and you dropped. Candy them went with us too, no? Yes, yeah. Candy, candy went too. Yeah. It was uh, it was Juani, Candy. Brittany. Um, oh, and then also... The, oh, there was two other girls there too, yeah. The Colton family? Yeah, the Colton, the Colton family. family. There was a few other people there. Um, I can't remember. I, I feel can't like remember once, fully. We were already drunk when we showed up. Yeah. I was already super drunk before we even left the party. Mm-hmm. So, I honestly, that, that night, I don't remember much. I don't. Like, the first Cantaritos day, I don't really remember it. And then at the party, I don't know. It has to be tequila, right? But it was, like, fucking strong as fuck. Mm. I like, know. they were not even, like, tequila bottles, bitch. They were, like, fucking gallons. Oh, the gallones. Yeah, they yeah. literally, guys, <laughs> they had these, like, Like, gallons. apple juice gallons. Yeah. It looked like I know. Juice. I kept seeing, like, Jorge come in with, like, gallons, and they look like apple juice, but they were tequila. And it's funny, because, like, 
when you go down the hill, like it was a bunch of agave, and we were joking saying that they were gonna go like juice the fucking agave. Like, why? <laughs> I was like, where are they getting this shit from, girl? Because like they would literally go down with these gallons, and they would come back full of tequila. Like it was crazy. That shit was strong as fuck. Huh? I, was it agave? It was. It was, I think it was like I don't a even, straight up I don't agave. know the difference, but it was bomb. It was straight tequila. I mean, oh my gee, it was. So you know what? <laughs> I feel like it is. I don't know what it was, but I don't think I got a hangover from any other night. You're like, I feel, kidding. I feel like shit, but. Oh, well, that's well, what you that's <laughs> you know, mama. No, I yeah. literally that night. No, I, I just don't. got like massive chorro, dude. Oh, yeah. That I was like, y'all did. that room. I've never Ooh. had it cleansed that like that big in my life. Bitch, I know. <laughs> the tequila had me fucked up. I haven't shat that much in my life for so long. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. No, well, you said you were always constipated, huh? So it was good. It was good. It was good that you unnoted those 10 pounds of shit back in three years. <laughs> you know, they're like, what? <laughs> but oh, my God, that night. I don't even remember how we... Oh, my God. Is that the day with my fingers? I was saying that... No, oh, that was yeah. the night of the wedding, huh? No. That no, was, wait, no, wait. I don't know. No, that I was that know, first girl. night. Oh, my God. It no. was that first night. No, I think it was the next day. No, the next no. Day the wedding. No. The fingers? Where I thought I lost my fingers? It was a preboda, no? I don't know, yeah. yeah. But apparently, I was like... In the car saying yeah, that I lost my fingers. Yeah, because you said that fingers. Candy had taken your fingers. There's literally a video on my phone. And Ka- and I'm like taking a shot. And Candy comes up to me. She's like, do I have your fingers? Or something <laughs> like that. I'm like, what? And then I was so confused. Like, what are you talking about? I, I literally, I can't. You guys, it was so much fun. It was so much fun. And that night, I don't remember getting home. Oh, I do remember. Like, I cried for Mia. Like, why? I was so drunk. I got home. And I, well to the hotel and i was literally like mia like i missed her yeah. and i called my mom and she was probably fucking cringing like bitch i can't do it but who me i had no clue and i guess marissa took doing. my makeup off too <laughs> i don't know guys i don't that night i don't that, know but that jumpsuit was tieso on the floor literally, <laughs> literally. my jumpsuit <laughs> <solo. laughs> jumpsuit it was literally re- revolcado i don't i don't even think it'll ever come off why like, was it stiff Stiff. The it's dirt. because it was like <laughs> <laughs> all the tequila spilled on it too. <laughs> no, it's because it's like uh the material. I think it's like denim. So you should have like, brought it. Where is it? I'm just oh my god, somewhere in my maleta. I still haven't unpacked my shit, bitch. <laughs> it's still in there. Like oh, days later, like for Same. what? And my maleta's gonna stay like that until my next trip. You know, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Literally, <laughs> like for what? No, but you're never gonna wear it again. I'm not gonna be able to wear it. And it was a cute jumpsuit too. Like damn, bitch. Maybe I could take it to the dry cleaners and see if they could fix There's it. There's fucking no way. I doubt it. It's no literally way. black, it's like, like penetrated. Oh, it's so bad. Like, there's no way those stains are coming out, you guys. But no. if you're wondering, because everybody was like, "What happened?" If you're I wondering, think you should what save happened, it dirty and like just save it. I think it's hilarious. But that's what happened, guys. I was like, I fell and ate shit so many times, and that's why my jumpsuit was the way it was. And that's um, just the first night too. That was that just, was the, just first the first night. First night. And night. I'm probably missing details because, like, that's how crazy every out. single night was. So insane. Every night was kind of like a blur. How like you remember some stuff, and then some parts you don't. I just remember I was like, wow, night one, bitch. I'm not ready for this trip. Like, I'm not ready. Like, they, like everybody was ready to go hard as fuck. And I feel like we were all having fun because nobody had kids. Oh, That yeah. was the first trip ever without Mia. You guys too, huh? Yeah. No kids. And, bitch, we took advantage. We fun. went all out. The day after we were at Cantarito, this is after the pre-boda, and I was like, oh, my God, how am I going to do it? Like, today's the wedding. I, I honestly was freaking out. I Thank was God like, I started late too. Yeah, I started till like four. So I was freaking out. I was like, I literally feel like death. Like there's no way I could barely even stand. I would just sit there and I would get dizzy, like falling asleep. I couldn't even, I was trying to, you know, I ordered uh, uh, orange juice to try to hydrate. Even like every sip, like I just could, my stomach couldn't, couldn't hold shit. By a miracle, like hours later, I felt better and I was like perfectly fine for the wedding. But that morning I was like, oh my God, I can't do it. It was, I don't know if you guys had a hangover, but I was. I did, yeah. First holy night, shit. I, I was fine. I was mostly worried because um, you know how we did um, Adriana Ramo? Well, I missed that part. So tell me why I reached out to a lot of um, florists and, and tequila to um, help me find peonies uh-huh. in Mexico. Nobody oh, yeah, had them. Because you were making the Ramo for her. Huh? Yeah. Um, I didn't personally make it. I had somebody oh, yeah, yeah, tequila yeah. help me make it. Um, but I took her. Stuff. I took her the stuff that she needed because I knew I was going to get too fucked up and I didn't want to worry about actually making it. So um, I bought the peonies here when I didn't, you know what I mean? I got them here. And um, when we got to the airport, the, the guy was like, oh, hay chance que los vayan a, t- que los hagan que los tiren en seguridad. 
So I stuffed them in the fucking maleta all smashed with everything. I know. Like, your shit was already... I was like, there's I don't, no way. I don't know how the fuck they survived. I don't know how you were not stressing out. When you told me they were in the maleta, I was like, oh my God, they're fucking ruined. What? Well, it's because... I mean, they didn't. The only are usually, like, when you buy them, they're closed. And you put them in water, they open. And they were closed. So oh, I was like, okay. oh, it's worse, they're fine. Yeah. And the reason he he got him here is because you said that it was really hard to find. You were asking people and they didn't know what they, over there, they were like, what, you know? No, they knew what they were, but. They didn't have them? They didn't know where to get them. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, so Luis pulled up with his peonies. We opened, up, <laughs> we, like opened we opened the maleta <laughs> and the, the peonies are like perfectly fine. Yeah. Well, I like was two like, or oh, three shit. were like, they didn't survive, but all of them survived. When I dropped them off to the girl, she was like, oh, I'll see what I could do. And then when she dropped it off, she was like, they all survived. Only like one or two didn't. Oh, oh that wow. Was Amazing. Yeah. yeah. Because Adriana really wanted peonies. She yeah. really wanted them. Isn't that crazy though, y'all? Like, oh my gosh. And your maleta was like super packed. They were squished And in then there. we were terrified that um, since we got out of bulls, out of bulls has like fucking negative three okay. stars. <laughs> okay. So yeah, we got um, out of bulls, Viva out of bulls, because we usually fly Volaris. But um, I started looking into it and they have like one star out of 10. So Is I was it- like- they're famous for losing luggage. Yeah, a lot of people say how they lose like luggage and stuff like that. So I was like, oh hell no! Like if they we lose really our luggage, and Amaleta had the fucking peonies, the menus, the oh, table numbers. Wow. Yeah, Luis had like different little things that he brought for the party. So we were like, oh my god, they better not lose our fucking luggage. Our clothes, bitch! You remember showing clothes. up with jeans at the wedding? Jesus, yeah. Anyways, that was I totally missed that from the beginning. But um, no, yeah, wedding day. Wedding oh my day. gosh. I actually I saw Luis how I didn't know this, but the wedding they got the the church they got married at is where the gaviota gaviota got married in the novela. Did I? Oh, no yeah, way. I saw it on TikTok. Oh shit! And it, it said how like that's where they filmed it and everything, and that's where where they get married. In that church, I was wow. like, damn, they really did that shit, bitch. It was such a beautiful church, it was y'all. Beautiful. Super I was nice. like, oh my gosh. I remember the girl that helped me make the ramo. She asked me where it was gonna be. I was like, oh, aquí en el centro. And she, even she was like, wow, I said, I'm guessing it's, it's like rare. Gorgeous. I don't know. It's absolutely beautiful church, you guys. It was an honor just stepping in, girl. It was beautiful. So nice. You could tell it's like really old, like in a beautiful way. Like know? a yeah. gorgeous, gorgeous yeah. wedding. Yeah, I saw it on TikTok last night. That's no, at least, I mean, tequila is fucking beautiful. It's so gorgeous, guys. There's like cerros and cerros of agave everywhere. It's iconic. We were in our gaviota era, bitch. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> Oh, she was living her gaviota fantasy. We were gaviota <laughs> con cuerpo de mas, mezcal, imagine? Like, <laughs> what is the fucking reason? Wait, is that, is, what's, wait. I think mezcal. Mezcal is the oh, drink. Oh, wait, mezcal well, is agave. the drink. Oh, shit. Like the alcohol. Anyway, we are the we're agave. shaped like the fucking agave. <laughs> <laughs> we are the agave, imagine, right? The yeah. bottom part? The piña? Period. Barril de <laughs> Oh, we're the fucking barril. We're the agave. Like, why, imagine? <laughs> oh, my gosh. This wedding was insane, Luis. Beautiful. Like, you guys, the moment we pull up, I know Luis. Okay, so when we went to go shopping for dresses, Marisol and I, we were like, what are we going to wear? And Luis was like, Karina, you got to, like, you try to get a nice dress because, like, the weddings out there are, you know, I follow super a lot bougie. Of, I follow a lot of, like, event planners, and they don't fuck around over there. They, they don't. don't. And I. Like, they're, they fucking, they're bougier than us over here. Literally, really guys. Are. So I, I knew that shocked. people were going to dress to impress. Yeah. And I had already kind of like like spoken to Adrian and Jorge a little bit, little bit about their wedding. So I knew it was going to be nice. Yeah. It wasn't just going to be like any wedding. Yeah, I, dude, I mean, I knew it was going to be a nice that, wedding. But even at that, even though I knew what they were going to have, fuck no. Oh, you guys, when we pulled up to this venue, our jaws were on the fucking floor. Yeah, bonita. Well, first of all, her dress. The place. Breathtaking. From the church to Everything. Adriana's dresses. I was like, oh yeah. my God, breathtaking. Like and she looked, she's literally like a Mexican Barbie. She's so, so beautiful. And then, yeah, we pull up to the venue and I'm like, oh, ain't no way. Like, this is beautiful. out of a freaking novela. Like, I can't even think of the Kardashians having a wedding like that. It was, you guys, it was jaw dropping. I cuento. was like, this is a dream. It felt like a dream. It was yeah. so, so, so beautiful. Dude, Absolutely I feel beautiful. so honored just to be there Definitely. at that moment. Yes. Yeah. Adriana and Jorge, I know I already said thank you, but thank you oh, guys thank so you guys. much so because gracias. truly this was like the trip of my life. Yeah. Like what are the, so, okay. Decade. So everybody knows that I do weddings, right? So I never go as a guest mm-hmm. to a wedding. I'm always working because even like for your wedding or Mara's wedding, or even my wedding, I was working. Mm-hmm. 
Um, I had a fucking blast. I couldn't yeah. believe it. I was like, wait, I'm a guest. I'm actually going to sit down and enjoy my food. It was so Because I never, fun. For, a lot of fun. for all the weddings in our family, even Jasmine and Diana, I didn't even eat. Even our birthday parties, like never. You're, you're never sitting down. I'm always working. So it was the first time. And I, I would always say, like, I wish I could go to, like, one of my weddings uh-huh. as a guest. Yeah. Right? And I never. I've no, never. Yeah. I like, mean, you went all yeah. out. So this time, I was like, holy shit, I'm actually going to have fun. And I did. You had a blast, and girl. We had party a lot hard of fun. Mexico. People party hard over there. Yeah, people party fucking hard. It was dude. definitely a fucking dream. It was it beautiful. It was like breathtaking. And like you can't even put in words. You guys, I'm sure you guys it's saw. Kind of even sad thinking like, fuck, we're not gonna go to a wedding like that again. The thing about these Mexico weddings, guys, like the whole three day thing, and I really like how they did that because I feel like, for example, my wedding. Like, I had a blast and all, but I just feel like it's a blur. You look yeah. back and it feels like it was like a dream. You're like, wait, it went by so fast. I feel like that's with everything. Because even with Adriana and Jorge's wedding, like, I remember at the end of the night, I was like, fuck, it's over. Like, fuck, like, it goes by so fast. It does. Yeah, because normally you just, like, wake up the day of the wedding, get dressed and go to the wedding. That's it, you know. But this is three days in a row. Like, yeah, like the pre the that. Oh, my God. You guys, I know I got drunk. I know I did. I was a, first of all. <laughs> Like, okay, Raul, you got drunk as hell. I got really drunk the day of the wedding, yes. The day of the wedding. I Every day, like man. The <laughs> that day. was like the most, like, yeah. like, I got drunk, though. No, I feel like Raul held it together the first night and the last night. Yeah. The boda, though, he was like, Ooh, gone. Was, yeah. At one point, we were, like, looking for you. We couldn't find you. Like, a few times, like, you would just go missing. Because you would go drink with the guys and stuff. But I was just worried because I was like, Raul can't even stand on his own. So then we goes over there looking for him and stuff. Dude, I swear, I would, like... Look away like for two seconds, look back and like, where the fuck is he at? <laughs> like Se every, every other second, Raul was missing. The but, last part um, I remember is us dancing on the dance floor, and that's it. And he was like making friends with like random ass people to at the party. <laughs> I, know, I know, but um, that was so much fun. I, mean, I yeah. got you got drunk that day too, huh? <laughs> yeah, I had my shit. Together. You know what? Like, we all had our days, you know, because Karina got really drunk Thursday. I mean, yeah, the first day. I got really drunk the wedding day, I and then mean, Louise. But with the sleeve, like you get drunk really fast, but you sober up pretty fast. No, too. I mean honestly, I I know we all had our days, but I really do think I blacked out every three days. Like I genuinely did. And Luis is right, you guys. When you have the sleeve, because me and Luis both got the sleeve, um, we get drunk really fast. And honestly, um, whenever I go to events or whenever I'm around alcohol, I actually usually try not to overdo it. I'm usually trying to hold it together, and I'm like, no te pases because. I know that a couple shots in, I'm a feel drunk. But uh, on this trip, I was like, YOLO, bitch, we're out here in tequila. Right. What's good? That's exactly what the, the vibes were the whole time. Mm-hmm. I was just going in. Like, I literally was just going in. I mean, the shots, I can't take a full shot. It's still really hard on my stomach. But that I went off, I went off. Yeah, because like, how often do we party in tequila? How do you know? How often exactly, Raul? Yeah. Like, we just had the time of our life. Yeah. I got so drunk at the uh, at the wedding. So, so drunk. I'm honestly shocked that I didn't have, like, a nipple slip or my ass came out or something. Because my, my dress, the slit was actually so high. I'm shocked that, like, I didn't have some kind of slip because I was that drunk. And then seeing the day after, like, all the TikToks. I don't know how, but I ended up literally behind every TikTok doing something stupid. (laughs) Even in videos that you think I'm not in, like people would zoom in in the back, like there she is in the back passing out. I'm like, (laughs) oh my God, you guys, it's just so funny. And you know, it wasn't just drunk, even though it was a beautiful wedding and a beautiful trip, but I feel like the people, the people were just definitely everybody. The vibes, you guys, the the vibes. vibes. I want to go on a trip with all the same people again because it, the vibes were just immaculate. I feel like most of the trip, like, look, it was just so funny. That's like, so many funny moments, you guys. Like, not just fun. Like, I would literally look at the stories, like, the videos that we were taking, and they were just hilarious. Like Talking about funny moments. I know something happened to Luis that day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Please tell them, Luis. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, oh, my God. Yes, please tell them. At the end of the night. Okay. At the end of the night. Okay. This episode of Chins and Giggles is supported by Liquid IV. As a mom, it's the little things that count when it comes to self-care. I'm sure a lot of you guys could relate being really busy and staying hydrated. Liquid IV is so easy because it literally comes in a pack. And I actually, fun fact, I've mentioned that it's so hard for me to drink just straight water. Like, for real. Like, I struggle with that. So having it be flavored with these amazing flavors, like the strawberry one, for example, is my favorite. And just staying hydrated is fantastic. And you don't have to drink as much to hydrate with liquid IV, which I love. 
I mean, girl, there's a reason why it's the category winning hydration brand. The hydration multiplier is literally what you're missing in your daily routine. In just one pack, you get five essential vitamins and it's two times more hydrating than water alone, you guys, which is fantastic news to me because I can't really hold water down that well. Like I just can't for some reason, just plain water. It don't sit good, girl. So having that nice strawberry flavor, just that flavored water, it does it for me. It's just the perfect way to hydrate on the daily basis, but also like if you're going on a flight or something and you want to stay hydrated, if you're having a night out drinking, I've seen this everywhere, you guys. Like this is where I originally heard of liquid IV. When people are about to go and have a night out and they know they're going to drink and they want to stay hydrated because they don't want to have a crazy hangover. Yeah, they'll be drinking IV or like in the morning after having drinks, liquid IV is going to hydrate you, girl. Like I told you, all my favorite right now is the strawberry flavor, but they have other ones like watermelon, fruit punch, girl, tangerine and others. I can't wait to try all of them. And if they come out with new flavors, I'm going to be the first to try them. And what I really love about Liquid IV is not only do they care about your hydration, they care about your kids' future, y'all. And working with a brand that worries about the generations to come, it hits different as a parent. I'm here for it. Liquid IV truly believes that access to clean and abundant water is the foundation for a healthier world. They've donated over 39 million servings in over 50 countries worldwide. Grab your Liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco. Or you can get 20% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code CHINS at checkout. That's 20% off anything you order when you shop Better Hydration today using promo code CHINS at liquidiv.com. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. Good food is too precious to waste. HelloFresh's pre-portioned ingredients cut down on your food waste by at least 23% compared to grocery shopping, which is good for your wallet and the planet. No worries if you're not a pro in the kitchen. HelloFresh's foolproof recipes arrive pre-portioned and easy to prepare in just a few steps. HelloFresh is not just for dinner. In fact, HelloFresh has you covered for every mealtime occasion, from snacks and easy lunches to seasonal celebrations and festive gatherings. HelloFresh saves me time and takes the stress out of figuring out what to cook for our next meals. Spend less time in the kitchen with quick and easy meals like HelloFresh's fast and fresh pineapple chicken tacos or falafel power bowls, ready in 15 minutes or less. Go to HelloFresh.com slash Chins50 and use code Chins50 for 50% off plus your first box ships free. That's HelloFresh.com slash Chins50 and use code Chins50 for 50% off America's number one meal kit. Um... We were, everybody was already in their cars, right? But Yasmin and Valentin were still inside the the party. Um, estaban bien pedos. Yeah. But me, I, I don't know. I just feel like I had, I felt like the responsibility, the responsibility of taking care of everybody. So I was like, no nos podemos ir hasta que no se vayan ellos. Like, we need to get them, put them in the car, and like, then we'll all leave. Yeah. But, dude, the fucking tequila, right? Aparte que nos dio chorro. Like, <laughs> dude, that shit was like. I, it made me gassy as fuck the whole weekend too, right? <laughs> but anyways, let me tell you. I had like fucking, I had like like two tanks of air fucking inside <laughs> of my stomach like for two hours, ready to fucking burst. No. And so, so I was like, okay, pues, you know, pues ya, we're going home. And The music wasn't even playing no more. No, like- the party was over. Let me tell you. Let me Dead tell silence. You. Dead silence. <laughs> so I'm going back, right? Like. Like, just imagine this, right? Like, my shirt's all out. Like, my pants are probably fucking sagging. I was already fucking, like, drunk. <laughs> and I'm looking for Yasmina and Valentin. And on your way to, like, inside the reception, there was, like, a big hallway. Like, como un caminito. Right? <laughs> so, I was like, well, there's nobody here. Ya se acabó la fiesta. Let me release this fucking demon that's stuck <laughs> in my fucking ass. <laughs> so... I boy and I swear, like, I swear, I looked around and I was like, no, I'm not. Like, nobody's here. <laughs> like, this is just the moment. So tell me why, like, as soon as I release, like, one of the fucking meseros, like, speed walks next to me. <laughs> no. You know he fucking ate that shit. No. <laughs> He was probably yeah, like, so oh my God. And you know when you've Dude, been holding it was a like, and on it, it was like, it was like one of those fucking, like. Like how? <laughs> no, they were making jokes saying like that when I farted, people were gonna get off the car saying like, "Yo, lavando otra vez." No, it was fucking hilarious. No, but dude, and I was like, 
I just acted like nothing happened. Like, <laughs> like inside of me, I you was know, like, "You heard that shit, bitch." I was like, "Dájame tierra, por favor." He's like, he didn't hear that, right? You, just, you know that he fucking went back to all his friends, like, "Dude, this fucking fat ass bitch just fucking <laughs> farted in my face." Oh my god! No, and you know that pasillo hall was like so grand. You know that shit was echoing. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, and then when you have like hours of a fart backed up, you know that shit was probably like a minute long. <laughs> <laughs> it was fucking loud oh my I remember God. even thinking like For that second I was like fuck Like that was loud And then like the guy Like speed walks next to me I was like wait <laughs> This whole time His ass was behind me Like he just came out Of the shadows like that <laughs> Yeah like what? you know like He probably got like The Rosa de Guadalupe air Like <laughs> no No Oh man That is actually Fucking hilarious It was fucking dude. hilarious I couldn't believe it I was like wow Like <laughs> Cerré la, la noche con broche de oro, like literally. Like, you know? like, he literally ate that shit, girl. I'm well, sure they're still everything. talking about it. Like, oh, that guy, the fart. You, you know, I mean, you, you, you know what your meseros name would be. You know, we'd all be talking about that. Dude, like, yeah, that would be that me home for sure. That is fucking hilarious. Dude, I hope he doesn't know who the fuck we are. And like, oh my god, watches this podcast like, <laughs> like why? That's, That's so the guy. Funny. No, and, oh and he god. was like, obviously, like you know, you know, the people in Mexico, they're so respectful, like. Uh-huh. He was just, he kept walking like like nothing, you know? Bitch, if that would have been me, like, I would have been fucking, fucking bursting in tears. <laughs> <of laughter. laughs> I know. But no. I would have been like, girl, period. He also been like. Imagine he would have been like, caballero se cagó. Caballero se cagó, like, why? That oh, is man. hilarious. That was... I feel like I would be so awkward in that situation. I would literally just turn around and be like. Her, no, bitch. he was fucking embarrassed. Period, queen. Period. Me too. <laughs> Let me part with you. <laughs> part with you. But then, like the whole drive queen home, shit. the whole drive home, I was thinking, like, you know how I don't know if you guys overthink everything. I was overthinking, like, fuck, like, like we all have asses, right? We all fart. <laughs> like, Duh. like Duh. he was like, probably holding in one too. Sure. <laughs> no, but like, no, dude. It was, I know I was holding a lot of farts in over the weekend because that tequila had me fucked up, dude. No, and then the rooms too where we stayed at, oh. they would echo so much. Like, ibas al baño and like the fucking neighbor te escuchaba cagar. I know. It's because the walls were so thin that they even added like little earbuds to your room. Yeah, no, like, that What? That hotel smelled like fucking ass. <laughs> so the day of the actual wedding when you guys were getting ready, uh, like getting your makeup and hair done, like I was like, ¿Dónde voy al baño? Like I had to wait till they left. I literally went in the restroom because we had the other girls getting ready with us too. I think it was Juani and Yasmin. They were also getting ready in our room. I literally went in the restroom. I blasted some music and I was like, it is what it is, bitch. It is what she it let is. it rip, girl. Yeah, it was fine. I it still, was- my bubble, my, I'm getting the chills. I have bubble ghosts right now. I swear I got to take a shit. Like, I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> Lord have mercy. It's just this hangover is still going. You guys don't understand. My body is still recovering. I was going to have an event that day. But, like, things lined up. It didn't happen after all. So, like, if I would have not gone and I would have watched, like, all your stories. Oh, my God. I would have been like, fuck, I missed out. I know. And you know what? I'm not going to lie, you guys. You know, it was, Myra, those, it was those things that you, like, you look back and you're like, it was an honor. It was an it honor. It was an honor to be invited. No, I'm so wedding. glad I went because I'm not going to lie, you guys. I was, remember, you know, I was telling you, I was yeah. like, should we go? Or should we not go? Because Myra had a baby the week before that. You know, she had Noah. So I was contemplating it because if you guys remember like a while back, like her original due date was actually like at the end of the month. And, you know, a couple of weeks ago, we ended up realized, well, a few weeks ago, not maybe like last month, that he was going to be due in the beginning of the month. So I was like, dang, what do we do? We had already RSVP'd, like, you know, hotel and everything. And I was like, what do we do? Do we go or not? And like, honestly, that's also why we booked our flight so last minute, because even like the days before, I wasn't like 100% on going just because like my sister had just came home and stuff. Um, but we were like, you know what? Let's go. Let's just go. Mm-hmm. And we're so glad we went because we had the time of our life. Not going to lie. Like as an event planner, I learned a lot. Like as far yeah. as like service, like dude, those meseros, like not talking shit about my meseros, right? But fuck in Mexico, yeah. like, like they had like one mesero per table. It was insane. Yeah. Like they were so good. Like, like. And each table was big too. Like it had like yeah. what, I'll be like, oh, like they were shots. They were like 30 in a chingadazo. Yeah. Like that, yeah. yeah. Like even before you were asking for food, they were already bringing stuff out yeah. like so uh, yeah. fast. So fast. And I think we were tipping them too. So they were probably like, fuck yeah. <laughs> like, they got us <laughs> fucking drunk. I told them, I was like, this is impressive. Like, mm-hmm. like, I, cause a lot of people ask me on Instagram, like, well, you, it's cause, well, I just, I literally today I made a personal Instagram because. 
Obviously, oh, yeah. I was posting on my Elegance events because that's my Instagram. And I posted very little, but people thought that I was like, that I had decorated. I didn't. I I mean, I wish I would have been that involved, but it's hard. Like, I'm all the way across the country, you know? Yeah. I only helped with, like, what I could, which was, like, the menu. Was, like, little things that I wanted to bring the from here. Is. Que a lo mejor allá no podíamos encontrar. Which, I mean, sure que los podíamos encontrar, pero anyways. Uh -huh. And, like, with her ramo and stuff. But, um... But no, yeah, he did an amazing job. and I was fucking floored, bitch. Yeah, he did an amazing job. He really did. And, it was so nice. And it was nice because I actually got to create a relationship with him and his team. And like, who knows, you know? Maybe one day, like, we could learn from each other. Like, I really want to go over there and be like, that one has glasses. Because, <laughs> like, the style, that, the way that they put together events is different. Like, muy diferente. And a lot of people that watch my work, They've always told me, like, I love that you have a very, like, Mexico um, st style. Because mm -hmm. I, I do get inspired by a lot of uh, Mexican designers. In Mexico and in, in Sinaloa, fuck, like, they've been doing, they do the most. That, literally, yeah. that wedding reminded me of, like, when you see a TikTok from, like, yeah. Culiacan or Sinaloa. There's, like, yeah, a wedding. Yeah, like, those fucking buchonas parties. Dude, That was iconic. literally, like, the yeah. most, yeah, yeah. yeah like, exactly no, like, was. like, deras, bien bonito, mm -hmm. decoran bien bonito, like, their their the furniture detail. like las even flores, the, the roof the like garpa, everything. everything that night though like it was just so fun and then there was like an after party oh my god what time did it end we got home like at five no we got home like at it five in the morning late. you guys Not home. Not home. Not home. Not home. <laughs> they go on you guys the parties over there like they don't they don't end people no. are ready to keep going yeah, i just remember like seeing everybody going hardcore like they were still dancing i don't know how the fuck candy it and Nestor made it to the airport yeah. They took off that night, huh? Uh, five, six in the morning. Yeah, I saw that Nestor arrive in his tux. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't know how they made it, guys, because so, I remember. Candy showed up in her gown to the airport. Like, <laughs> queen shit. But, uh, you guys, so I remember it was like, I don't know what time we left, like at three or four in the morning. No, we left late. Really, really late. And I just remember walking out. But it, and was, a per it was perfect time because, dude, ya no, todos mm -hmm. bien pedo No, and then this one was about to just like pass out any yeah. second. So I was like, we got to get out of here. Si ha durado, like, una dos horas más todos estuvieran like cagados vomitados tirados en el piso like we were <laughs> con la chichis de fuera we yeah. were already there like yeah and I just remember where I was like it's like gonna be four in the morning and Candy and Esther were like dancing their life away I was like well, I don't, they have dude, to catch a flight right now like you and know they how, made it they made their flight like aquí en los Estados Unidos like again because I do weddings ya para las once de la noche no hay gente like yeah. even like even like for your wedding that was here and Jasmine's quinceañera you know, like we did it with that, with that, um, with the purpose of ending like really late because it's your house. Well, I remember going upstairs at five a.m. on my wedding night. No, no, yeah, yeah, but like for example, but, well, yeah, I people started leaving. Shit, bro. No, I'm literally gonna shit myself. No, okay. <laughs> La de tequila. No mm. Oye, pero el día de tu boda y el día de la quinceañera, Jasmine, even though yes. we were out really late, people started la leaving. La gente earlier, se yeah. fue temprano. La gente se va temprano. Ya para las doce no hay gente. Because there was people. In Mexico, they don't give a fuck. That mentality of just going to party all night. There was no kids. That's another one. I feel like for Karina's wedding, like, oh, niña, la niña. Like, yeah. you can have fun. Like, you could have fun. Hey, I, I'm here for the no kids allowed period, yeah. yeah. bitch. Fuck them kids. I was going to like, <laughs> like what? I know so, somebody asked me in Mexico, like, tu niños? I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere where their babysitter, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, what? Do you miss them? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Not right now. Oh, my God. Not right now. <laughs> so fun. No, I did miss my kids. I'm just kidding. Yeah. yeah. That's funny. No, but it was a freaking blast, dude. It was a lot of fun. And then somehow, like, no, the next day after the wedding, I was like, there is just no way. No, we're, we're going to drink. The party kept going. No, I, I woke up the, the day after because that's when we had the torna boda, which is like, what would you call a torna boda? Like a recalentado? The, yeah, like an after. I mean, the post wedding? Party. Day three is what it is. Dude, like, that fucking AC is fucking cold now. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's getting cold. no chilly in here. Yeah. I don't it's know okay. if that's what's making me want to shit. Or... It could, it could <laughs> I be. think so, yeah. Jesus Christ. I gotta oh. go use the restroom, y'all. Little five minute break, y'all, before I blow up in this fucking chair. I'm like, what? Oh my God, have we been recording the whole time? Oh, y'all. The shit backed up in there from all weekend. I'm <laughs> Area. I'm still cleansing my like my body is, is literally like in cleanse mode right now. I still woke up this morning and I felt so tired. We're filming this on Tuesday, you guys. So it's been days now. We got back on Monday. No, we got back on Sunday, girl. Sunday. No, but think <laughs> about it. Three days of partying, three days Ay, of pure tequila. Mio. My stomach is in shambles, bitch. 
guys i'm telling you we've never gone this hard i don't think i've ever gone that hard especially three days in a row mm-hmm. but where were we at we were like okay wedding night yeah wedding i don't night. remember a lot of it honestly but we got fucking lit and then the next day well that night wait when was when was abita were gonna leave that night no she was gonna leave saturday but she didn't oh she was gonna leave that next morning saturday morning right so saturday morning because friday was a wedding saturday morning was gonna be you know the day three and i believe beauty bird had to fly out that morning but they missed their flight i think they missed it purposely <laughs> <laughs> they were like damn let's go to cantaritos el Güero, imagine uh but they ended up missing it so they did join us at cantaritos that night as well and that day bitch i remember i was like ain't no way i'm gonna drink again like there's no way even yadira all of us were saying we're like yeah no we're done bitch tapping out Two minutes later, climbing the fucking roof. Like, why? <laughs> yeah, like Adrian climbing the roof yeah. and shit later. Like, guys, we were a mess. I don't know what day I got the drunkest. Y'all, mm-hmm. if you guys saw the stories, um, day three was, again, Cantaritos Aguero. But that day was, first of all, I was, like, so packed. I didn't even know they had that much space in the back. Dude, when we told, you that know how we had huge. gone on Thursday? Mm-hmm. And it was cool. Like, había gente, pero no tanta. No, when we like pulled up Saturday, I was like, It was a fucking Fucking grave. Coachella. It was, it was Picolandia. It was Picolandia. What the fuck are we saying? I, I could all like like the people. imagine. Mexico edition. Dude, un chingo <laughs> Bitch, it was like, I don't know if I, maybe I don't know how to do math, but it felt like acres of fucking people just dancing with like bandas in every corner. Literally. Yeah. It was so cool. insane. And OMG, that day, I really thought I wasn't going to overdo it. I was like, I'm hungover as hell. Like, I'm just going to have a couple of drinks. It's because even, even though we were hungover and, and, Cause you know we had drink for two days. I feel like the vibe, the ambiente, of, bitch. ambiente. Yeah, I'm like, and then everybody's like, "All right, let's have a drink. Why not, y'all?" I pull up, and I think Lily and Brittany had already ordered like two big ass fucking cantaritos. I was like, "All right, we're really going all out again, bitch." <laughs> yeah. So we start drinking, you know, start dancing a little bit, and before you know it, we're blacking out again. Dancing on tables, climbing fucking the, the carpa. You, it's funny because a lot of you guys were saying working that. on the floor yeah oh yeah <laughs> okay this is the thing glam tender like uh this, she does this like often where she teaches people how to like dance on the floor she's a vibe like this she is my first time like hanging out with anybody right and it was my first time hanging out with glam tender because mm-hmm. i'm always you know either we you guys work a work, lot together but but never party are, yeah she could fucking party like, she no tiene party. fondo. <laughs> no, no tiene fondo. fondo. No. <laughs> party hard. She could no, hang. No, Lavender yeah. is crazy. But she does this thing on the floor where she'll, like, teach people <laughs> how to twerk. Yeah. I think it's called the crybaby. People were telling me in my DMs. I didn't oh, know what yeah? it was called. I think it's called the crybaby move. And you're on the floor, like, twerking. So Glam is like doing it and I'm like, fuck it. And that's when I knew I was drunk. I was like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I was just thinking about coming home already. I was getting homesick. But yeah, like, I feel like every parent needs. A night out. Definitely. Or, or a weekend. Here and there. Like, for sure, you're like, oh, crap. That night, I feel like that's the night most people were talking about, like, I guess in my DMs where they thought it was hilarious, like, the stories that we were posting. And yeah, Glam was, like, on the floor twerking. I was like, fuck it. Here we go. And I know I was going to look ridiculous. Oops. I knew it. And I was like, here we go. And I thought about it you for a second. For it. And I was like, <laughs> I'm going off. So there I go. And then... um. And then Brittany comes over and then Mondo comes over and then Jonathan come over and we're like, fuck it, let's go. And then we're on the floor and I posted this story. I didn't realize there was a lady behind me judging us until I, until I posted it. And I was like, no, fucking, I was like cringing. Um, I think it was like someone's tia in the back and she was just like, it's so funny because she's literally nodding. She's like, no. And, and then making it clear, like it wasn't like to like bash her or anything like we just thought no, it was funny not at all like no, she, yeah. i thought it was hilarious i was like she was like your typical tia like being like flabbergasted and watching some random bitch like twerk on the floor yeah like, like i wasn't cringing anybody's at her at mom all. would be like what the fuck are they yeah. doing but I it was just funny because like she literally was like she got up and was like fuck these bitches she was like jesus christ yeah, yeah. but no I, like it was dude no yeah it was nothing against her i thought it was i thought it was hilarious yeah, that yeah. she was in the back like yeah. cringing at us so i had to post it all like this shit is funny as fuck yeah and then I didn't realize until after people commented that there was another lady also like looking at us and she was like, oh, like, no, nah, but I mean, oh it's, it's like, yeah. I know. And I don't think they were being haters at all. It's just, they're just yeah. like the typical tias are like, what is going on? Yeah. You know? And like, she's like, these kids are crazy. I know. <laughs> it's, but I feel like everybody at Cantaritos was like that. Like every, there was, yeah. this is like, honestly, guys, a lot of you guys were saying how, oh my God, there was a video of Luis too, where he's like, you're like, oh my God. Oh, he's falling back. Oh, you're like about yeah. to pass out. Dude. And everybody, the next day, they were like, how are you alive? It's because when you, like, 
I, I swear to God, I could be like one minute, like all fucking. No, yeah. And, that's and then true. like 10 minutes later, I'm like, oh, I'm getting, he, I'm feeling better. He was drunk <laughs> for that moment. I was like, oh, Luis is done. And then like five minutes later. I'm the hell. Yeah. like, what? <laughs> he's chugging the whole cantarito. Next <laughs> thing you know, he's on the roof. <laughs> not the fucking bars bending. You imagine? Not bars <laughs> bending. Not the whole carpa coming down, bitch. Yeah, you know? I know. Um, Lily said how, uh, how I was like, I could do that. And then I was going to go do it, bitch. I would have died. Dead My ass. arms could never bend. Uh-oh. Bitch. Talk about that TikTok, dumb ways to die. I would have fucking literally. There's no way. First of all, there's no way I would have gotten up there, period. There's, like, ain't oh, no, no way. I've never been able to hold myself Bring on a Bring your forklift, man. <laughs> Bring out the forklift, bitch, because. She's not coming down, imagine? No, but, fuck no. I don't think ever in my life I've been able to do monkey bars, bitch. I've always been thinking. No, yeah. Me. I couldn't. I don't even think as an adult I could hold the myself. The trauma of being fat, imagine? I've the never trauma. done monkey bars, imagine? Stop. You know how people, like, they'll pull themselves up? Fuck I don't think no, I, I don't no. even think I could hold myself. Just hold myself hanging. Yeah. I think I... I no, I don't think I have so. no upper strength, like, at all. Maybe Zero. With, maybe with alcohol, you can. Maybe <laughs> with alcohol. Maybe, maybe. Cause and it's funny because people were saying like, oh, it's so funny to see you guys going crazy like that. They never seen that side of us, and I'm like, girl, I definitely am not doing all that at every party. No. Like we, I think we that's were why we were so acting cool. like that because nunca no dejan salir. Imagine like <laughs> these kids don't let us go out. Uh, yeah. No, but it's funny because I feel like at most parties, like if I'm drunk, yeah, I'm gonna dance and stuff. But this was just. I mean, I'm talking like, think about your most drunkest moment ever. Like, that's what that was. And I was just here for a good and fucking you know time, what it bitch, was to the period. people? The like, people. Te prestaba because everybody was having a good time. You weren't embarrassed. Everybody was down. They were like, all down. Dude, you know that? Dude, I'm, see, like, out of everybody that anybody you'll ever meet, I'm usually like, with people I don't know, I wouldn't be telling them like funny stories of like farting and shit in front of the mesero and stuff. Yeah. Like, and, and you were telling everybody. I was telling everybody the next day because that's how comfortable I fe- felt around I everybody. I felt really comfortable. I feel like that's why, you know, everybody was comfortable, f- like, yeah, being themselves everybody and being was stupid. Very, like, I welcoming. was super comfortable being myself yeah. with this group. They were just so If cool. I would have gone to, like, somebody else's wedding, I would I would have not been acting like that. I know. I, I think about it, like, even here, like, I think about me going to a club being shit-faced. I no, would not be. No a, I wouldn't be on the floor because I would probably naturally be like, oh, I don't want to say ridiculo. But something about everybody else being down to hacer ridiculo with you, bitch, you're like, all right, of- let's act a damn fool together, bitch. <laughs> the next day I was looking at the videos and I was literally, like, cracking the fuck up. I was like, we really out, like, we really outdid it. Like, for what? It's so funny. Ridiculous. Like literally, the definition of haciendo ridículo. But it was so funny looking back. Like I don't regret it. I'm like we had a freaking blast. We had a blast. Like I want to go on a trip with everybody again because it was so fun. Yeah. I'm like that was a vibe, bitch. Mm-hmm. But I think that was definitely, definitely like the most drunk I've been yeah. ever. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I don't even think our Vegas trips have been that lit. Oh no. No. no, no they can't no. compare. I know we've been no. saying, y'all, I'm like, this is the funnest trip ever. No, but like, I'm this like, was. I think I really mean it. Like, I've never gone on a trip where we're all down as fuck to turn up all three days and go crazy and go all out. I'm talking like no sleep, you guys. And somehow having that energy every day to go all out. Like, and then the music too, everything. Like, Luis, the banda, that's like Dude, right up banda, our alley, bitch. Well, both bandas were amazing, but I feel like I pay more attention to the banda del... El sábado, the tornaboda, they were so good. They were fun. Like, the guys were hilarious. Yeah, they were so good. All the music, I was just like, this is... Dude, the fact that the, the, the tuba had, like, a fucking firework oh, coming out of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the that tuba so literally, cool. like, had this, like, a firework coming out of it. And then the carpa, I'm like, how is this shit not burning down right this now? This ass too, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that ass was a tuba that night, bitch. Should have put a mic up that shit. Oh, I need um, a firework up in there. <laughs> what do you call it? Like, story twist? What was it? No. Story time? No. Story time? <sighs> What? Plot twist. Plot twist. Oh. Like there was no two at the wedding was my ass. <laughs> it was your ass at that time. But oh my gosh. There was no night. band that was just my ass with the mic. Like, why? It was just that ass. <laughs> that <laughs> Jesus. Ass? Like, oh my God. <laughs> what is the reason? No, that was, oh my God. <laughs> you know what? I had been missing so, like, so much. I, I've been wanting to go to Haripel so bad lately yeah. that that, like, I can't wait to. I want to go on another one just because of that. It was so fun. And then, like, we were literally, guys, like, imagine the vibe, the vibe being so immaculate. Like, you're just down to throw yourself on the dirt and shake some ass, bitch. The fact that Mondo and Jonathan were on the floor, too, shaking ass. Period, bitch. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> that shit was so fucking fun. Oh, my gosh. We were we were literally cracking up the next day, you guys. Best, best trip ever. 
funnest times I've had time. with the best people. Y'all need to go there because for real, for real, like if you want to go have a good time and you know that you're not going to like look dumb and everyone around you is also going to be like hyped. The hot dogs are bomb though. Dude, oh, that, they had, the they had good hot dogs so there good. too. Yeah. All random. Like, but they were good. <laughs> oh my God. And then after that, you would think like, all right, we did the most already. Like we're done. Ah, fuck. You know what we didn't have? And every, I've always, um, the fucking, los, los, Sachipulpos. Oh, yeah. I had them last we're time when we went to And I know Guadalajara is known for that. Yeah, yeah. We, and I learned that when I used to work at the Tiki because um, remember delicious. Tommy Luis. and America, they were from Jalisco. Luis, the Sachipulpos. And they would always talk about like, oh, yeah, like fried weenies. And I I, we would make to, them at the Tiki. I wanted to get some at the Plaza after and we didn't. Fuck. Me and Raul had you know what, them. Let's go, man. Let's go right now. <laughs> no, we had them when we went to Jalisco last time and yeah, they were, they were really that's good. all I ate, bitch. I mean, it was bueno. so fucking yeah. good, Luis. Oh my God, they're delicious. Con, like, ketchup and mustard. Ketchup, they put, mayonesa, and they the put this other hot. sauce. It's like not ketchup, but it's, I don't know it's what como, it is. It's like tomato chile. It, it's weird, but it's, it's so, known in, yeah. in Guadalajara, right? It's really good, it's, yeah. It's yeah. delicious. Yeah. I remember that's all I ate when I went last yeah. time. It was but, really good. Holy well, crap, I, mean, I didn't have them, but I've had them. They had yeah. a truck at the plaza, but it left before we tried to get some. Yeah, because yeah. after Cantaritos, you guys, you know, you would think, like, we already got shit-faced as fuck. Oh, we went to the plaza. We went to the plaza after that. Because yes. I think there was, like, fiestas going on or something. Había una banda tocando yeah. en la plaza. Yeah. Oh, my God. Small world. Tell me why. Um, I met someone at Disneyland, like, a couple months ago. Like, literally, like, last month. And she actually knows one of my friends, Anissa. And I remember she had came up to me at Disneyland. She's like, oh, I know. I know Anissa. I'm like, oh, that's cool. Blah, 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 you know, took a picture and stuff. Tell me why. Like, we're pulling up to, to the plaza. And, and then she's like, she's right there. Karina? I'm like, <laughs> oh, my God. I, the fact that we, we met what at Disneyland. The odds, huh? Like, the odds. What are the odds, guys? Like, we just met at Disneyland last month. And now we're both at the plaza in the Galisco. And then she like, got what? drunk with us. And then she got drunk with us, too, bitch. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I hope she got home safe. I don't know. After that, like, I, I didn't even know what happened. She went her. to the restroom, and then I didn't see her after that. <laughs> oh, my God. That was pretty lit, no. too. Her man. No, but no, I, I know. Me and Raul, when we went to go get hot dogs, we got, like, fucking 12 of them. Yeah. We're like, oh, I want to try some hot dogs. No, and, like, man. half of the people were gone. Like, yeah. what happened to everybody? Fuck it, we'll eat them. <laughs> no, Anissa did text me that she ended up, I think they no, ended up No, I meant, like, what happened What happened to the people, not the hot dogs. Raul, the people, what? Oh, no, because no. we got like uh, so many hot dogs and, and then, we showed up to the like. No, and the then plaza. I was like, what's going to happen? Like, what happened to the Merrells? Like, we ate them. I was like, no, not the hot dogs. That <laughs> <meant> the <people." laughs> like, we ate them like my OMG. No, it was it was so fun. Was I can't fun, like definitely. you guys. It was just so funny. And then everybody was like also saying how like me and Brittany were just, are each other's twin, which is hilarious because that's literally what our inside joke was. We're like period twin like that. We're supposedly twins. Like, because right, like, right. obviously Myra didn't go and Brianna didn't go. And I think that's really what it was that we were without our twin. I feel like I'm actually shocked that I was like pretty social uh, this weekend because I feel like I go with Myra to all events and we're always together. I honestly was getting a little bit of social anxiety like before going on this trip. I was like, fuck, I'm going without Myra. I was like, ah, you know, I was like nervous. I know Luis was going and stuff, so like it's fine. And then obviously Raul and Marisol and stuff. But like I was a little bit nervous about it. And it's funny because, yeah, like, Brianna didn't end up going either. And I think just because, like, we're twins, I'm sure, like, naturally, like, she probably gravitates to her twin a lot, too. Like, I feel like we just gravitated towards each other because we were both missing our twin, which is it's just so funny because we, we went crazy. I think, like, the most lit ones were definitely, like, me, Lily, um, uh, Brittany, and... All of you. And he asked yeah, everybody. Yeah, everybody. No, yeah, 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 the whole group. She says the whole list. No, like, yeah, Dara was here. lit as fuck, too. I just think the last night she didn't go too crazy. Everybody, Juani was fucking drunk too. I, everybody, I mean, was everybody drunk. was down and drink. Yeah. Everybody was taking Guys. shots and you know chugs off the bottle. It was fun. Everybody yeah. was down to like blackout. It's so hilarious. Like it's just so crazy. But it was my first time drinking with my clients. Like why, <laughs> Luis? <laughs> everybody was shocked because you usually like they just see you putting together events and working. I yeah. think they were like shook seeing you like over there passing out on the floor. <laughs> like, how am I gonna see them again? Like all professional, like hola, man. Hola, you know who I was shocked too? Beauty Bird. Like it's funny because she's a fucking queen, you know. Like she could party. I was shocked. I would like see her like taking the shots back to back, and she was like the one going around with the bottle, like let's fucking go. And I was no, like, damn, yeah, like, oh, bitch. Now, I mean, <laughs> that day I was like, ya calmate. Because <laughs> I know, I feel like she's she's one of the clients that I've known the longest, and like you know, you obviously she could turn up. You create relationships, like friendships with your clients. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yo la estaba regañando the whole time. I was like, yeah, parale. 
Girl, stop. We already know how it's going to end. <laughs> we were all having a good fucking time, Yeah, bitch. I know. No, she's but, a good time. No, because we all... all I mean, I'm are. sure she... She talked about her daughter's about this, right? Like, how she got super drunk. Oh, yeah. So, I told her, like, if you want to enjoy it, like, ya no tomes No, there mas. was a point... There was a point that we were, like, telling each other, like, we need to chill. Because, yeah. like, it was early as fuck. It was, like... I don't know. It wasn't even 10 yet. And I was, like... Yeah, I'm already fucking know, getting it. Yeah. Valentin, Valentin did. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, no, we were all, guys, we were all here for the freaking that was fun. vibes. Like, and we were drunk for hours, too. Like, we just kept going and going and going and going. You would think we would be blacked out by 11 p.m. Because I, I remember it being like 9 or 10, and I was like, I'm drunk already. But somehow we lasted until like fucking 4 in the morning. Still went to the plaza after. Dude, I remember when we got the dessert, like, you estaba bien pedo. Yeah. I was like, eating like you know like when you're already like your mouth feels like I don't know. Like, I was already drunk before the music yeah, I was started. Like, fuck. When the violinist was playing, I was already oh fucking my God, lit. That, yeah. that was really good. That huh? was good too. Yeah. yeah. Was, I mean, amazing. we literally got up he and started dancing to the violinist. Definitely. Like why? No. Started, huh? I remember when when the you know how he was playing like hip hop and then like I don't know he started playing la chona and yeah. that's when everybody got up to dance. La chona, yeah. And I remember thinking like we're doing the fucking ridiculo right now like Jorge and <laughs> and Adriana like their family like in the main table like having dinner and all of us like fucking like dancing at the dance floor. <laughs> pa 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 pa. Like, why? With the violinist like oh. <laughs> like all pe- the all people having like a formal dinner and like all, not doing, I've been. We're over there with the bitch. I was already in my boots at that point. Like why? You guys, I literally got there, took a cute picture, sat down, and put my boots on. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't think I I danced at all with. With my heels i was like i'm done my feet were already killing me from the day before i was like absolutely not bitch oh my I gosh know. guys this trip was so fucking funny like amazing it was amazing girl i know i <laughs> i'm still like damn that was a dream yeah. you having withdrawals i mean i'm having <laughs> i i'm having yeah, a lot of cleansing that's yeah. what i'm having right now girl but jesus christ jesus and then yeah. Jonathan was passed out on our couch, right? Because yeah, he you had out. gave Jonathan yeah. the key or something. Yeah, because right? he was trying to go to the hotel room, but he didn't have their room key. So I was like, <laughs> you know what? Just take ours. Yeah, yeah. So he crashed there. And then we get there. We get to the hotel and we're like, oh my God, he's not going to open the door. Because he's fucking like, dude, Jonathan was he's passed out. out. Yeah. So we were like knocking. And, and no, he wouldn't open the door. I think, I we, think had the, to, we went the to reception. Opening, yeah. No? We had to go call the reception to open the door for us because he was literally like fully blacked out. <laughs> <laughs> didn't, he say the, didn't he say the next day that he even woke up at night, went to the restroom, and he didn't even realize that he was in a different room? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, he was like, that he was like, where's my luggage? Yeah. Like, 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 he didn't even realize he was in our room at that Cause, point. Because technically, like the room next door, it was the same. Yeah. The same layout. Our so. rooms were the same layout. He's like, yeah. where's my luggage? And why does it smell like shit? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, cool, or is it? No, dead ass. What was he talking about? And I, it's just so funny. Like, what is the reason? And then we missed our flight. Oh, we missed our flight. Oh yeah. my god! Because there was traffic. Was an accident, huh? It was an accident on the way to the airport. Well, yeah. the thing is, we were like, we need to leave here at nine, but we, we left at eleven. <laughs> and then we also didn't like put it in the time. Like the fact yeah. that we went to go look for food and everything. And then we it didn't took forever it. to give us a fucking tacos too. And then yeah, it took forever. By the time we that got on fine. the road, yeah. But luckily, like, you know, they had flights that same day, so. It was pretty no biggie. But we were like running around looking for fucking <laughs> flights like crazy, bitch. Dude, we spent more oh over a thousand dollars for music. Like, why? That's what we get. That's too much. Oh, but that shit was so funny, you guys. It was just uh, like the funnest trip ever. Like the fact that we missed our flight too. I was so confident we were not going to miss it. And then we get on the road and it's like traffic for hours, bitch. We're like, and then we're like, we'll make it. We'll make it. We get there. They're like, the flight's but closed. We were, we're like, only late like 10 minutes. I know, but still, <laughs> like, we were still Luis, late. we got there like half an hour before the no. plane took off. Like, yeah. <laughs> and then we checked the in the car, and we had to check the oh, car yeah, and, and shit. Car. Our yeah. our flight was like at one fifty five. We were literally there at check in like at one thirty. Like, bitch, come on now! Like, there ain't no fucking way. Man. Like, what is going no. on? It was at one fifty five, but we got there like at it was like one ten. Una. Yeah, it was like about yeah. Yeah, but by the time we checked in the car and everything, and shit, I remember when we were in line, I was like, we're fine. So I felt them 40 minutes. I remember when we had checked in in, in Tijuana mm-hmm. and you guys weren't there yet. And I asked, and like, oh, con que lleguen aquí 45 minutes antes de que abran la puerta, el avión. You know, like. Oh, okay. Yeah. Before they start boarding. Yeah, before, before they start boarding. Oh, before boarding. Mm-hmm. We got there 45 minutes before takeoff. Oh, that fuck. <laughs> that part. That so fuck. we missed our flight and then we're like, pues ya que. We were like, and we even considered, we're like, do we just go back for around the five? Imagine like, what? <laughs> what? But we were like, no, we got to get the fuck out of here. Already. We have kids, imagine. Yeah. So then we like, yeah, paid another freaking all this money to take last minute flights. 
I don't know how Lily and them did it, Luis. They were there for five days. And they, out five days, they went all out. No. I think, no, I think Adriana stayed an extra day. So she was partying for like six days straight. And I'm like, oh my God, how the fuck did y'all do it? I feel like I'm still recovering after three days. And I'm, like, it's I'm been days now. I'm tired now, yeah. I still feel like I need to sleep. I'm actually going to Disneyland after this. Do you guys wake up early now? Um... um I feel like I, I've been waking up early because I feel like I'm still in Mexico. Mm, not no, really. I've been feeling like a fucking yeah. like slump. Like I'm so slumped. Girl, I've been dead. I'm like. That was fun. Wow. But again, I just want to say huge thank you to Pero Anoche for inviting yeah, us on this so trip. Much. Muchas gracias. Everybody, gracias. thank you, Lily, because Lily was able to, um, you know, she's the one that like found she the coordinated, hotel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She coordinated like the hotel thing and everything. So thank you so much, Lily Mama. You helped a lot with that. I'm thinking like, how would we have even like found a, like, oh my God. No. So just thank you to all that friend group because they're all just so welcoming and they're all, you know, like when you meet people and at first, like you might have like your awkward moments where you feel like if it's quiet, it might be a little awkward. I feel like where them, I was like, I feel like you've been, I feel like I've you're like, for long, yeah. I've known you for so long. I feel so comfortable with you. Like that's exactly how I felt with all of them. And they were just all mm-hmm. so incredible. Thank you guys. But um, yeah. Well, thanks yeah. y'all for coming on. <laughs> 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 <It's all quiet. laughs> y'all want to say something? Yeah, thank I feel you for like, having us. Thank you for no, having it's me. funny because I feel like even Luis, like Luis is like, he, he got a big ass mouth and I feel like he, even he got a little shy on here. Imagine like why? I'm holding back. Like what's the reason? <laughs> Hopefully do it again in 10 years. I'm all thinking I know I'm going to regret that shit watching the episode. Like, fuck, why did I say that? <laughs> yeah. I already oh, gave you a lot with the fucking farting story. That's more than enough. That's so funny. Like, why? It was but hilarious. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm, you guys have to go watch all of the vlogs. I don't know when they're coming out. I did not vlog because, honestly, I wanted to, like, fully... I know how I am when I'm vlogging. I would be stressed out. Like, Raul, help me vlog. Or am I vlogging enough? And I, that's probably why I got so fucking drunk too, bitch. Cause I had no control. I had no responsibility, but thank you guys for tuning in. I hope y'all enjoy this and I can't wait to go watch those fucking vlogs. I I'm excited mm-hmm. to listen to Lily and Mondo's podcast. See how their take on everything, yeah. but thanks for watching y'all. Thanks for coming. Thank, Gorge. You, guys. thank, thank you. you for having me. And I'll see you guys hopefully with Myra in the next week. We don't know when she's coming back. I think she'll be ready next week. She told me, but thanks guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.